Hey there ladies and gentlemen, Aaron Smith here. So today we're gonna go on a ride to Marysville, Texas. We're in Gainesville, so I think we're gonna do a loop. It should be around 45, 47 miles, maybe a little over 50 miles, if depending on what why in the road we take. But for those of you who are just turning in, um, I am missing my leg above the knee joint, my right leg. I'm a right leg above knee amputee, abbreviated RL, AKA. That's what they call me, people who know, you know, doctors and amputees have been referring to it over and over again they don't want to say the whole long word out they just say r l a k a and then my left leg right here we've got a we've got a lot of metal in the leg there about 14 15 weeks ago got in an accident somebody tried to run me off the road on this bicycle and so i broke that leg here's a picture of that okay that's an actual x-ray of my real leg so all right, so I'm gonna upload this, a preview, and then I'm gonna upload the whole video so y'all can join me for the whole ride. It's gonna be like a three or four part series, a Marysville ride to Gainesville, part, um, part one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So without further ado, we're gonna take off and go. Hey, doggies. Oh, they're nice dogs. Nice doggies, yes, y'all are sweet dogs, yeah. You just want somebody to pet you, don't you? That's cute. They're both just running behind me. Good dogs. Y'all really shouldn't be doing this. Somebody's gonna come along and run over you. Good dog is. Ah, 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 ah. Be nice. Owner called him in. I don't like how that boxer got right up on my real ankle though. It got right up to it. Didn't like that. All right, so now we're about to go down, down, down into the forest of doom. Not go get, let's not get going too fast down this hill because somebody come flying up out of the out of this valley around this curve. So we're gonna go, we're not gonna go too fast. Until we get around this curve, then we can speed it up. Yeah, this is it. It's one of the low water crossings in this area. All right, so we're just gonna pedal on across right here. All right, we made it. Ugh. So far, <laughs> we gotta climb out though. Not the easiest thing for a one-legged man to do, but I think we're gonna make it no problem. It gets steeper right here, so I'm going to put down my trekking pole. Don't want to get smacked by a truck coming around a corner here, so I got to stay quiet and listen. We are climbing out. Come on, let's work, y'all. Good job. We made it out almost, but then we're still climbing. Wow, still gotta climb up this little hill. Now this building right here, it appears to be a Masonic Lodge right now, but what it was, was a one room schoolhouse. That's what it used to be back when Marysville was populated with a lot of people. 
It was their school building. All right, this is the Marysville Cemetery. And let's see if I can open this gate without, without getting off my bicycle. Ugh, yep, that worked. <clears throat> mm, 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 mm. All right, so what I'm gonna do is just show you all the cemetery and I'm gonna look for the grave of that, that uh, settler, the guy who Montague County is named after, Daniel Montague. I'm gonna look for his grave. Looks like we got a pretty darn new grave right here. But as I said, it's an old cemetery. A lot of settlers were buried here. People from way back in the day. And I'll show you, this is a bigger cemetery than it initially looks like. We just don't want to get any stickers in our tires. But I've made the decision to come in here, so we are taking that risk. But yeah, this is the Marysville Cemetery. And uh, I saw a video on YouTube of, uh, of this Daniel Montague's grave. And I think I can find it. I think I can find it, y'all. And this may be it right here. I think so, because the fence, the fence is what I recognize about it. Sure enough, okay. So this, this is the grave of Daniel Montague. He died, it says he died in 1876. So he was age, it says 78 years old. And that's his wife right there. She was born in 1818, wife of Don, Daniel Montague. It doesn't say when, when she uh, died, it just says that her name was Jane, wife of Daniel Montague. So Daniel Montague was the first white man in Cook County. He was the head juror for the Great Hanging that happened in Gainesville. And so after the Great Hanging, you know, the, the Civil War was lost and he was upset about that. You know, he was, he was uh, a Southern boy, you know, a Southerner, and he went to Mexico, but then he came back. I believe he came back from Mexico in 1876, lived here with his wife and, and ended up dying. I think she was his third or fourth wife. Seemed like most of his children didn't make it to adulthood. They died, you know, because back then there was no antibiotics. And he was um, a surveyor. And so what he did was he plotted off land, sectioned it off for settlers to come and colonize here in this area. And he got with those settlers and they rode up and down the Red River and shot up Indians. You know, they had to. They felt like that's what they had to do to claim this land is to shoot the Indians. So there's a, a grove named after him, Monte Grove. It's in the golf course in Sherman where he went in and shot about 16 or 17 Native Americans in a cove. And um, the legend is that to this day, Indian paintbrushes grow where all that blood was spilled. So, but Daniel Montague left, left Cook County before my ancestors came here. My ancestors, William Owen Davis, was the first one to come to Gainesville in 1870. So Daniel Montague was still alive, but he, he had gone to Mexico. And um, my, uh, my great, great, great uncle, William Owen Davis, first ancestor here in Cook County who went to Gainesville, he was the first lawyer, and he actually incorporated Gainesville as a city. It was just a settlement before then and so he was county judge mayor first mayor of Gainesville But I bet they knew each other. Anyway, that's a little bit of history. I wanted to show y'all but this is the Marysville Cemetery and uh, I Wanted to find this grave and I, I've been here to the cemetery, but I've never found that grave site before and I got on YouTube and I found a video somebody made somebody who did find this grave site and I recognized, I recognized that metal work right there. So that's how I was able to find it this time. All right, y'all, we're gonna go back and loop on through Marysville and get on out of here. Go back to Gainesville. Hope my friend Kevin Beal's doing okay. He's up over in this establishment to our right. He was battling COVID. 
was in the ICU for a while. We, he gave us quite a scare, but he made it. So hopefully he's enjoying his recovery right up there on that hill. And then we got a church right here to the left. And this is Marysville. This is where the, inter, the official intersection of Marysville right here. So now we're going to head back. We need a little more water before we climb this next hill. Mary's climb, it's a quite a hill. Mary's climb is... Mary's climb is uh, steep and long. We got these old buildings. If you look up Marysville, you'll find out it was quite an establishment. Quite a big pioneer settlement, but there's still people that go to that church. You know, I come by here on Sundays sometimes, and there's that church back there. It's got a it's got a good sized congregation. <clears throat> but yeah, Mary's climb. Once we go down this hill across the bridge, then we're gonna climb a really steep, tall hill. To tell you the truth, I'm curious to see how I'm gonna handle it after. After recovering from that broken leg about 15 weeks ago. <sighs> We're gonna make it y'all. Come on, come on, let's spin, let's make it. Oh man, we got it, ha <laughs> ha. Praise Jesus, it's not easy. So there's no, it doesn't look like we got any water flowing. Which is good, I don't wanna get splashed with water. But we got a steep climb out of it, you'll see. So y'all turn up your resistance. Get ready for this climb. It's only just beginning. It's gonna get tough. Come on. It's real steep right here. Come on. Come on, come on. Come on, y'all. We're almost there. But we cannot give up, or we will not make it. Come on. Come on. Yes. So the climbing's not going to stop, but man, we made it through the hardest part already. Now we're climbing. Let's burn up this hill. We'll get to the top. And then we'll turn left. Come on, come on, come on. If you couldn't do it, you wouldn't be here. Come on, we know you can do this. It's gravy for y'all compared to what we've done so far. Come on. Let's just feel some burning. Let's get up this hill. Rocks are really loose on this curve. You gotta go kind of slow. But yeah, these windmills tell you just what direction the wind's coming from. It's coming out of the northwest, but primarily out of the west. Here we go on OG gravel. Original gravel, this stuff is too lame. Bumpy and loose. It's not well maintained like what we've been going on. Some of it's just grass.
But this is a public road, believe it or not. It looks like a private road, but it's not. Totally public. County road. Got a dip right here. With all the rain we had yesterday, I thought this would be real muddy, but I don't think they got as much rain over here as we got in Gainesville. This is northwest of Lindsay. Furman Dairy right here. I see one of the Furmans out there in front of that white door under the... Hey there, doggies! Y'all are good dogs, aren't you? Y'all are good doggies. How's it going? Yeah, you're a good dog. You're a good dog. Yes, yes. Good boy. Yeah, good boy. Oh, come on. Don't, don't, don't be like that. Don't be like that. No, no, no. Don't be like that. Come on. Be nice. Don't be like that. Be nice. Keep feeling that burn, y'all. Let's keep spinning. Those little calves. Hey, cute little babies. Little dairy calves. And then we've got their store right here. You just go in there and buy whatever milk or dairy products you want. Cool, cool dairy. We got some calves, calves out there. Mainly Jer uh, Holsteins and Jerseys and Holstein Jersey Crosses. Pretty cows, Charlotte Angus Crosses right here. I love that cream color. All right, so let me tell you how far we've gone. We've gone 47.7 miles, climbed, 1,931 feet. Let's see how how fast we went. We did a lot of climbing, so we did right at 10 miles an hour. So considering considering you know this is the furthest I've gone, the most I've climbed since I broke my leg 15 weeks ago, I I'll take it. Anyway, y'all, thanks for watching. Thanks for joining. Uh, I hope y'all got as much out of that ride as I did. That's what I did it for. So y'all can have a virtual experience that kind of touches on what I'm doing. Alright, y'all have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.